Hey folks, how you guys doing out there? Hey folks, I have another example of a very rare low serial number star. You see the very low serial zeros in the star. We speak about the significance of the serial number nonstop on my channel. And we speak of fancy notes, excuse me, fancy serial numbers. We speak about radars. We'll continue, I'll just keep continue to show you these different examples. But this one here, folks, what makes this note very rare is for a few various reasons. The first one, of course, is always the very low serial number. The very low serial number makes this very rare. Now, you add the star node in the absence of the uh, suffix number. And it makes it, excuse me, suffix letter, and it makes it very rare. And then also, this is a very low run. There's only 640,000 of these notes out there. So this note automatically jumps up very rare. Now, what makes it super, super rare is the crisp, uncirculated condition. Remember that. This is a crisp, uncirculated note. This is like brand new from the BEP. Sometimes you find, you know, non-stop treasure pieces out there, folks. If you're just beginning and you just started following me along and you just started learning about these treasures, because a lot of people don't understand. They know nothing of the significance of the serial number. These, these modern notes are worth more than any older note if there's a significance in the serial number. And the only difference is with the older notes and the modern notes is that these modern notes are everywhere. There's, you know, trillions of dollars out there in circulation. The older money is very scarce, but not necessarily worth more than these. By far, no comparison. If you take this note right here, and you take a, say, a $10 bill. It could be from 1928. It could be the 34 series. You know, a non-star, though. It, this is, by far, way more valuable than, than the notes there. I mean, you know, you know, hands down. This note is way more valuable than a $10 bill 1928 series. Non-star, though, and non-significant. If we compared... This modern note with the serial number of an older mo of, of an older note, say 1928, with the low serial number star, by far the 1928 10 would be, you know, way more valuable than this. Of course, that's different. If you find the older notes with the significance in the serial number, you have a museum piece, the treasure pieces. You see these notes. Folks, the more they use debit, the more they use credit, the more they use all these different apps, right? They don't touch money in your hands. If you do not deal with cash, if you don't deal, folks, with cash money every day, in other words, if you pay for your coffee by debit, I always give a $20 bill and get, you know, 17, 18 bucks back. I've, I've scored from a fast food store where I got change. I scored from the big boxes where I buy, you know, I buy an item for five, ten dollars and I always put in a hundred dollar bill and I get ninety something bucks in change. I've scored continuous star notes and stuff from, you know, the machines like that. It's just unreal. You know it's coming, it's only a matter of time when you'll score. So if you stay consistent and relax, you'll have more notes than you could ever be appreciative of you know and like i said folks it takes years and decades to learn and i'll tell you guys folks you guys have a huge advantage i didn't have nobody telling me anything about notes when i started 25 years ago there wasn't even youtube even existed you guys have a huge advantage here with me you don't even know the advantage because i'm releasing the information that it takes decades to learn by mistake Folks, do you know how many rare treasure pieces that I got in my hand and I looked at and said, gee, you know, this note looks really odd. 
I had a $50 bill one time, folks, of the old money, right? It was a transfer note, right? You could see the back through the front, right? And I'm staring at it, and I'm staring at it, and I'm like, gee, you know, this looks like really different. I've never seen anything like this, right? So what do I do, folks? I push it back in circulation. Oh, I got rid of it. And that note I had in my hand was a $500 note. Imagine that. I gave away 500 bigaroos. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel.